Do you need us to start I'm doing it? Yeah, no, Sorry. Really <laughs> <laughs> and these are the one worders. Well, yeah, well, it comes with your Don't say that. Right, Tim Don. Swim, bike, or run? Run, I think. Run, if my chain's going well, running. Favourite Ironman course? Um, Florinopolis in Brazil. Sum up the switch from triathlon to Ironman in three words. Long, longer, very long, that's four words. <laughs> Favourite place to train? Oh, Stellenbosch is the best place to train. Favourite as well. Um, why Boulder? Bolt, oh, in one word. Out of uh, environment, not like, like um, environmental change, as in being a professional athlete environment. Ironman or world title? World title, no one can take that away from you. Top piece of advice for coming back from injury? Don't do it and don't wear a halo. No, but, um, listen to your body um, and when you think you're ready to go, give yourself an, another few days off because you've only got one body. <laughs> Biggest inspiration, triathlon or not? Um, the, I think when I was younger, the biggest inspiration for me was Hale Gabri Selassie, because, you know, growing up in, um, in Kingston or in this area, Bushy Park, you know, it's endurance mecca, and yeah, he was a legend on and off the running track, marathon, etc. yeah. One item of kit you couldn't live without? Well, your race kit because, yeah, you need to wear it, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> um, your bike, you know. The Sigma Sports Connection, can you tell us a little bit more about that? Ah, oh, the connection. Um, yeah, I guess I grew up in the area where Sigma Sports, um, yeah, started, um, from Hinchley Wood to next door in a tiny shop to here. Um, I knew Ian and Jason when they were a lot younger, as was I, and um, yeah, they got involved in, um, I used to ride with Bruce Grubb, who, and also was it um, some of the Linda McCartney boys, which all used to train around here, and that's how I met the guys. And then they sponsored the local club, Thames Turbo. Um, and yeah, it went from there. They, they helped me out and the whole team out. Um, in fact, when I moved to South Africa, Ian and Jason came on holiday, um, yeah, for a couple of weeks to hang out with myself and the snake. So um, yeah, that's the connection. And it's great to come back here and, um, yeah, see that it's still the same kind of energy, it's good. What would you have been if you weren't a professional athlete? Prime Minister, no, I wouldn't have been. <laughs> I would have wanted to be, bloody hell. <laughs> um, I don't know, um, I was gonna go to university, I didn't, I didn't go in the end. Um, I went to the University of Life. No, I, I, would, um, I was gonna go and do marine biology, so I guess a marine biologist. Go to off the bike, cheat food. Um, off the bike, um, well, no food's cheating if you just have a little bit, so anything. No, I like um, chocolate, dark chocolate, and quattro fromage pizza. Um, yeah, those kind of things are good. Lots of red wine, but that's not really a food. <laughs> red wine or beer? Oh, red wine, definitely. <laughs> it's good for you. <laughs> that's it, guys. I just threw in the red wine beer one there.